President Museveni's government has been accused of uh, human rights violations by opposition supporters both locally and internationally, the most recent group to come out being the religious leaders in Uganda. Now, today, as he addressed the media, President Museveni comprehensively addressed this matter. I request that we listen to what he said because, you know, this is something that has been making headlines in the past weeks and of course we are all concerned about it. Uh, good enough, his communication was put in a language that we all understand. One of my staff, I don't know whether there are people who are here, the security people, uh, Major Agaba, if you could put try in touch with, with the Mubiru there, so that I can get these people some, some examples. One, two, three, to try to kill out. Who, who are these who are abducting people? Because we have, we, we have got, when there were the other riots in, in, in 2020, uh, I called meetings of all these security police, I called all of them, the, 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 the other people, secure, I called all of them and give them guidelines in writing. These guidelines are already in the law. Arresting is in order because like these people who are, who are vandalizing the power, we're going to arrest them. You don't have to beat, beating for what? No beating, just interrogate, uh, and, and, and whether, whether he admits or not, you can, you, you can see the facts that pin him down, and he can be sentenced and even hanged, but legally. So you don't have to beat, you, you don't have to, to cause the creditor a, a zero. If there is any, anything who violates, anybody who is arrested must be coming from a village, must be coming from somewhere. And the, those structures should bring it up, and, and we follow, follow it up. If there's anybody who violates any rights in Uganda, there is power everywhere, po popular power, popular power, elected people, LOC1, LOC1. They should be able to bring this one up. And this is not to talk of the MPs and other people who, who are or, or, or councillors. I would encourage them to bring up all these issues. So that should really deal with the illegal arrests and all that. Uh, President Museveni was also questioned on the issue of suspects staying for so long in prison and uh, he said the main reason for that is because, uh, you know, the judges in the country are not enough, but this is something his government hoped to work upon very soon. Now, the issue of staying long in prison, that one is, uh, I, I think that one, I, I, I know why. The, the main reason would be uh, the, 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 the number of, of judges and magistrates. At one time it was not enough. Why did we not have enough? Because we have got so many other things to do. The roads, the electricity, the, the budget, the budget, the money comes now. Uh, the issue of uh, uh, having more judges, that means more money. So what do we do? Do, do we put, uh, that's why we said, no, no, let's first deal with the roads. If you have got more judges, but no electricity, how will the economy grow? Uh -uh. Let's start with, yes, have fewer judges for now, but have electricity, the roads. Uh, the, the, now we have paid the scientists. You have had our quarrel with the scientists and the other people. We have to start with the scientists because they are the ones to, to back the economy to grow so that you can do other things. Audio jungle.